I watched a bit of the Flesh and Blood celebration event that went down a couple days ago. It streamed for three whole days, the celebrational, and it was a great event. And overall, I just wanted to say really high level, uh, Legend Story Studios did a great job just going out into the community, finding the members who have contributed a lot over the years to making the game great and inviting them over to New Zealand to have a you know mini party if you will and you know it, it's one thing to say hey we appreciate you <laughs> it's another thing to go out and send invites to people to come on over to New Zealand and show them around the office and have a party and have an event really catered to those members it was it was great to see and I think that Overall, that really needs to be seen. Like, there's not many companies out there, right, in the trading card game industry for sure, that really take the time to appreciate the community members. And overall, this is the fifth year in operation for Legend Story Studios. Their fifth birthday is coming up in October 11th, 2024. Now, welcome to Wraith uh, Unlimited. No, no. Welcome to Wraith Alpha came out in October 11th, 2019, so that's technically their birthday. But if you think about it, right now in January 2024, it's essentially like their fifth year in operation, if you will. Like, it's not yet their birthday, because that's when the box came out, you know, later on in October. But, you know, they had to work on the stuff before the cards were printed. So, in a sense, this is like their fifth year, even though it's not their birthday. So I thought that was something that wasn't really talked about as much. But uh, yeah, man, I, I think it was really nice. And I think that uh, overall, just watching all the streams and everything, Saint from the Fable Hunter YouTube channel, he did a really great job playing uh, really intense games. Uh, I enjoyed his games the most, I think. He was uh, really grinding out a couple of those and, and did a really great job overall. I, I, I'm very, very happy to see his performance. Uh, Brody Spurlock ultimately took the cake and crown and, and was able to uh, win the whole thing. Uh, his games were also very good. The way he shuffles his cards is ridiculous. I just... <laughs> I've, I, 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 like, the way pro players can shuffle their cards super fast like this thing, it was, it was nuts. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm just an old bastard. But uh, he, he's, he's a great guy. I met him uh, the Battle Hardened in, uh, in Florida. In uh, with the Haven Game Store, they had uh, the Battle Hardened event, I think, three months ago. Uh, he, I don't think he knew who I was, but I, you know, went up and chatted with him. And he's a really nice guy, he took a little couple minutes to, you know, chat me up. So, uh, you know, just congratulations to him. But uh, overall, yeah, man, I, I, I don't want to talk too much on this subject, but it just seemed like a very Willy Wonka esque nature of, you know, all golden tickets were sent out and say, hey, come on over to see the factory. We want to give you the tour. We want to, you know, show you the best New Zealand has to offer. And it was just great to see that they really do care about the community members who help them succeed overall in the long run and just really just want to show that they really care. So it's just really nice to see that because not that many companies and big corporations have that type of like heart mentality of like, you know, doing these things. There's usually a catch. There's usually a spin. There's usually some type of profit motivation around it to where they're trying to like get money from you in some way, shape or form. But this wasn't that. It was just Legend Story Studios saying, hey. Uh, we've made it five years in operation. This is a huge event, or th this is a huge milestone for our company, and we want to show our appreciation by inviting a lot of people over. So it was really great to see. I'm I'm really happy to see that that was going on. I remember back in the day, you know, back in my day, uh, I think it was in 2021, they had a Blitzathon event, and it was very reminiscent to this, where... Uh, Legend Story Studios invited a bunch of people into their office, and they held a bunch of Blitz events. It was really great to see. James White played a uh, uh, a Cavdeen deck that did did pretty good. It was it was really cool to see at the time, um, and just the whole concept of you know a celebrating their success and just seeing a you know celebrating the game, and you do that by also having a bunch of games in that event is just really cool. And I remember when they did have the Blitzathon back in the day, I watched the whole thing front to back. Like I was just I was eating popcorn, watching games, having fun. It was it was really nice to 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 see that. And you know, it's interesting how 
you have that event going on, the Blitzathon, and then after that, Flesh and Blood just grew constantly, constantly, constantly after that. You know, it was just, it was a pivotal moment, and I feel like this this felt very similar to that. Is it like LSS has grown to this point, and then what are we gonna look at this event in two years ago and be like, wow, look at how much the game has grown since that point. So it'll just be uh really cool to see how the future unfolds and. Overall, I don't want to make this video too long. All I wanted to say is that I, I think that we really need to look at Le Legend Story Studios. And just the fact that they're holding this event in the first place is really damn cool. And it shows that they really do care about the people who interact with their game. That's it, really. That's all I really wanted to say. Cheers, man.